Not every city has the unique opportunity to build itself from the ground up, but that's exactly what the city of Menifee has been doing for the past 10 years. And when you look around, the results are impressive. About 20 years ago, civic-minded visionaries dreamed of a new city that could bring services closer to the people who live here. They raised the money, prepared studies, and in 2008, their diligent efforts paid off. Before incorporation, Menifee was a rural area with miles of wheat fields. As community leaders started to think about becoming a city, they envisioned a place that would combine economic and industrial opportunities with a close-knit community feel. And over the past decade, that vision has come into clear focus as the city of Menifee has matured into one of the most well-rounded communities in California. And what's even more impressive? All this is just the start of Menifee's story. To keep up with the rapid growth Menifee has experienced in the last 10 years, the city has been dedicated to attracting a strong retail base. All sorts of new residents serving businesses have popped up around town at centers like the Shops at the Lakes, Menifee Lakes Plaza, Newport Town Square, and the Shops at Newport. Bringing big names like Stater Brothers, LA Fitness, and Barron's Market to Menifee. In the year ahead, many well-known businesses will be coming to Menifee. With over 400,000 square feet of commercial and retail construction completed in the past two years and more than 700,000 square feet of commercial projects under construction or in the pipeline, Menifee will soon be home to Raising Cane's, Cahoots Pet Supply, Jamba Juice, Cafe Rio, Jack in the Box, Nothing Bunt Cakes, Blaze Pizza, Tuesday Morning, Firehouse Subs, Dunkin' Donuts, and a couple new exciting sit-down restaurants soon to be announced. The Chamber is very excited about all the growth in the city. We appreciate the partnership in our business community that allows us the ability to provide services to all sizes of businesses that encourage their growth, provide the tools to expand, and pave the way for additional businesses in our community. New businesses are coming to Menifee, meeting the jobs growth of 3.5% annually. This number surpasses what was laid out in the city's general plan required for full build-out. Over the past 10 years, Menifee has blossomed into a community designed for the 21st century through dedicated leadership on the City Council, an award-winning city staff, and a community that embraces a collective aspiration. Menifee has experienced great success. One of those achievements includes a booming housing market that has grown from just over 30,000 residential units at the time of incorporation to close to 38,000 today. In fact, this year alone, there are 32 housing tracks in the development pipeline. And housing isn't the only thing that's booming. The city's commercial sector is also booming. Commerce Point Menifee is located along the city's Economic Development Corridor, or EDC, just off Ziders Road and adjacent to I-215 and is the city's first business park. What used to be farmland with wheat is now home to Chute Systems, an innovator in residential and commercial chute manufacturing and Channel Commercial Corporation, a provider for the telecommunications and broadband tech industry. Collectively, these two new businesses will bring more than 60 new jobs to the city of Menifee. We are extremely happy to join the Menifee business community by being the first organization to join the Commerce Point Industrial Complex. And later this year, construction will begin on Phase 2 of Commerce Point, an 84,000 square foot commercial building for more light industrial and commercial space. Having new reasonably priced spaces available helps Menifee attract growing businesses that need to expand. And in turn, we're able to bring great jobs to our growing workforce living here in our city. Another new development, the Han Professional Building, will bring 25,000 square feet of office space that will be the new interim plan for Menifee's City Hall. The growth Menifee has experienced in such a short amount of time is remarkable. 
Rancon is one of the premier comprehensive development companies and leaders in the region, and we are very excited about the opportunities here in Menifee. What we are seeing here is faster growth and development than when even Temecula was this age. And being so young as a city means that developers have a chance to be a part of designing a community that benefits residents, businesses, property owners, and the development community. If you are a business, there is no better time than now to be a part of the city's remarkable business community. Menifee's economic development staff has been working hard to diversify the city's economy and even received a federal grant to start the city's first comprehensive economic development strategic plan. We are very excited about the investment our city council and staff have made by making economic development a top priority for the city. We have a very strong development team, one which I'm very proud of. They're working together in overdrive, and I think you can see that. With over 400 planning applications this year and a 33% increase in activity, in just 10 short years, Menifee has become a premier city, and we're open for business. Menifee is currently processing several new incoming projects, like a 25,000 square foot Class A professional dental medical office, Menifee Meadows, a 100,000 square foot medical campus, three new assisted living centers, four convenience centers, and more than 23 commercial projects. Menifee and its agency partners like Riverside County and EMWD have also been busy working on critical projects in the city. This year, Area 9 of the Quail Valley community of Menifee is under construction for the placement of transmissions lines and laterals for service connections. This long-awaited project would not have been possible without the diligence of EMWD, their grants team, and our community partners. Another very exciting development on the horizon is the long-awaited Menifee Town Center development. The land has been secured by the developer and construction plans are in for the project. They're currently being reviewed by the city in anticipation for groundbreaking this fall. The town center used to be lush with wheat fields and farming land. And now, fast forward, it's astounding that this will be the new epicenter for our growing community to gather in and connect in. Menifee Town Center will also be home to Riverside County's Mid-County Civil Courthouse, funding allocated and approved by Governor Brown and the state this year. Menifee's future new city hall, medical offices, a Fairfield Inn and Suites, additional shopping, and more than 850 residential units that are currently in construction. In the meantime, the city's new Central Park is completed and will be the hub of Menifee Town Center when it opens later this month. The five-acre park will have an outdoor amphitheater, tot lot, meandering walkways, and much more. Being part of a new city means we get to build community gathering places for everyone to enjoy. And Central Park will be one of Menifee's shining stars. The City Council and I are proud of the work we've done to make this park a reality in Menifee. The city also opened two other new parks in Audie Murphy Ranch this year, the Silver Star Park and Creek View Park. These two parks bring the city's park count up to 30 between the east and the west, an impressive achievement for a city established just 10 years ago. But we're not stopping there, as three more are planned for construction and opening up this coming year. Plans for three new parks are on the books. Menifee Heights will be a nearly 10-acre park near Holland and Briggs Road. Cottonwood Park will encompass more than four acres at Evans and La Piedra Road. And Hidden Hills Park will be a five-acre park at Evans Road and Craig Avenue. In addition to outdoor spaces, Menifee has also put a lot of thought into its community, building special events. The city's Park and Recreation Department holds eight major events each year, including the Menifee Fall Festival, and the two years in a row award-winning Independence Day celebration. Its recreation offerings have also soared alongside the city's growth. In fact, Menifee served nearly 144,000 residents through its recreation programs during the fiscal year, an increase of 70% since its inception as a department in 2015. It's really something special to see our community come alive in our parks and our events. 
Heading up the Homeless Task Force, along with our partners in SWAG, we have housed over 26 people. We have a functional zero homeless population based on our point in time count. But as you know, transients come and go. And we're working hard to help who we can and make our community as beautiful, strong, and as effective as possible. It's what makes my job so rewarding and what makes Menifee so unique. It's the city's great partnerships with other community organizations that nonprofits like the Arts Council of Menifee come together and work hard in creating a community we're all proud of. It is partnerships with the city and community services that really showcases how far we've come and why Menifee is such a beautiful place to call home. Our community offerings really are what brings our residents together. You can see Menifee pride on the faces of kids, parents, and neighbors, and even residents from our neighboring cities come to Menifee's award-winning events. Additional community enhancements are coming soon to our library system, including a 20,000 square foot library at La Piedra and Menifee Roads. A new library remodel to the Sun City Library was also completed this year, making beautiful enhancements to the existing library to streamline services. It is partnerships with agencies like the county and their affiliates that are assisting Menifee in meeting the needs of some of the fastest growing cities in the state. Menifee is home to award-winning school districts that have also been busy this year. Menifee Union School District opened Tywilla Elementary School and Harvest Hill STEAM Academy this year, bringing the enrollment to close to 10,500 students. As you know, the city of Menifee is growing rapidly, and as a result, so too is the district's Menifee schools. In the last 10 years, the district has grown by 1,635 students in our Menifee High Schools alone. Enrollment increases are expected to continue in the coming years and as such, we are planning to build a new high school for Menifee to keep up with the sustained growth and to relieve overcrowding on our existing schools. Menifee is also a destination college town with one of the state's fastest growing community colleges and a regional impact of over 700 million. We are excited about all the improvements made this year to the Menifee campus. We have added the Village Science Laboratories, a new high-tech makerspace for growing industries in Menifee, and have a new stadium plan that will seat over 7,000 visitors where we can have home games, community events, concerts, and develop our sports programming and expand our kinesiology program. This past year was also marked by a number of notable highlights in public safety and infrastructure development. Some of our most important achievements have been made possible by the voters' approval of Measure DD, which is helping Menifee maintain a safe, clean, healthy, and caring community. Measure DD was a 1% sales tax, overwhelmingly approved by voters in 2016 to maintain critical public services, like public safety, road improvements, and to help fill the gap in funding from rising public safety costs. The city also completed its first ever built public facility for 4.6 million Fire Station No. 7, which opened in Sun City in January 2018 and is one of the nation's busiest fire stations in call volume. This new fire station is a critical component to the quality of life in Menifee. Now that we're operating out of a state-of-the-art facility, we're able to reduce our call times and better serve the residents who need us most. Measure DD has also funded a new medic patrol unit and seven new fire captain personnel, bringing the Menifee Fire Department up to 18 strong. Comparably, the Menifee Police Department added 13 new positions this year and now has begun to build the department after many years of getting by. The City Council is very committed to providing the best level of service to Menifee residents and businesses. Overall, the additional public safety personnel have helped lower fire department response times and have decreased both Menifee's crime rate and the perception of crime. Adding these new positions really helps solidify our commitment to the public safety in Menifee and we're seeing the benefits with lower crime rates in our community. Having a new substation in Sun City as well as being able to expand our police force helps ensure our city is safe and that our quality of life is protected. Another significant benefit of Measure DD is the improvements being made to various roads throughout Menifee. This past year, the city widened Newport Road, resurfaced Menifee Road, connected the missing link on La Piedra Road, 
improved four sidewalk projects near schools, with seven more planned, resurfaced a portion of Rustler's Ranch, and added a third eastbound through lane to Newport Road to ease congestion along the busy corridor. One of the biggest challenges fast-growing cities like Menifee face is keeping up with infrastructure needs. Luckily, the city has Measure DD in place and an aggressive capital improvement program which lays out how we are keeping pace with our growth and ensuring that our residents are moving smoothly throughout the community. And there's more roadway improvements on the horizon. Construction is already underway on the highly anticipated Scott Road Interchange. This 18-month project will construct a partial cloverleaf interchange, auxiliary lanes, a six-lane bridge, and will widen Scott Road to help traffic flow in this area. Here at the EDC, we work with the development team in Menifee to encourage foreign investment, office development, and overall positive growth in the region. Along with easing congestion, this long-awaited project will open up the economic development potential for Menifee, particularly in the south end of the city. I think we're going to see huge economic impacts from this important project. Our goal is to make sure our residents and businesses are thrilled with the community that they've chosen to live, work, stay, and play in. This city council and staff are working in overdrive to meet the demands of our community. Along with its numerous achievements this year, the city has also collected several awards, further cementing its place amongst some of the most sought after communities in California. The Menifee Munch Program, the We Are Menifee video, and the Mayor's Roundtable Series were all recognized with Caled Awards for excellence in economic development. The city's finance department was awarded for its annual financial report. SafeHome.org named Menifee among the top 20% of the safest cities in California. And for the past two years, the Press Enterprise has named Menifee as one of the top three cities to live in within the Inland Empire as well as recognizing the city's Independence Day celebration as one of the top three community events in the region. But possibly one of the most notable awards came from the National Council for Home Safety and Security, who named Menifee in the top 100 best U.S. cities to raise kids. We are proud of our city and people are flocking to this young community to buy a home, build a business, or raise a family. Menifee offers unique opportunities for growth and development that many older cities cannot offer. Everywhere you look, there's something new, from homes to parks to commercial developments. We are doing so much to make Menifee better, enhancing our public safety, improving our infrastructure, adding parks and recreational programs, while continuing to elevate quality of life for our residents. All of this so Menifee can be the best it can be. It's amazing when you step back and take in all the growth and shining achievements. The past 10 years have truly been exciting. Foundational. Inspiring. Amazing. The best time of my life. But what's even more thrilling is realizing that for Menifee, we are celebrating our past, embracing our future because we're just getting started and the best is yet to come.